So you've decided to start a business. That's great, but what do you need to actually set up your business? I'm gonna tell you the four things that you need to do first to establish your new business. Hey guys, Abby Johnson here with Matterhorn Business Development. Welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new. Today, as I said, I'm gonna tell you the four things that you need to do to get your business started and kind of this background, logistical, administrative, not so fun part. <laughs> now, these are very important parts. You do need to be legally established and especially if you start off and start having success early on, you wanna make sure these things are in place before you're too far in and things get messy. Now, my background where I started my career was kind of in this back office administrative area, so I have seen what needs to be done many times. And the first thing that you need to do is establish yourself as an LLC. Now, I'm not gonna give you legal advice here because I am not an attorney or an accountant. You might need to talk to one of those individuals to see if an LLC is right for you, but typically it is correct for someone first starting out. You don't need to do something usually like an S corp or something more complicated. If there's multiple partners in the startup, you might need to do something more like a partnership agreement and have a lawyer draw up an agreement or something. But either way, you need to be legally established as a business entity. Otherwise you are opening yourself up as an individual to be liable for things like lawsuits or things like that. All right, the next thing you're gonna need after an LLC is called an EIN and basically you get this through the IRS. This is obviously here in the US that I'm talking about these things. But basically this gives you an identification number as a business. You're gonna need this to open business accounts, to file taxes and things like that. We actually have a whole video about how to start an LLC and how to get your EIN and also how to avoid scams that go along with those things. So I definitely, definitely recommend watching that video. We will link it below because once you start filing all these government papers, you do end up getting on people's mailing lists and they tend to send out mail to you that looks official that isn't. So if you want to know the step-by-step -step process for those two things and things to be on the lookout for, definitely watch that video. All right, so you've got your LLC, you've got your EIN. Now you can go to the bank and open up a business bank account. This is super important. You do not want to be mixing your personal money with business money. I see this way too often where things just get muddled per personal expenses are going through the business that shouldn't be, or business expenses are being put on a personal credit card, and it's just very, very messy. Um, so get yourself started off on the right foot and just start clean with your own business bank account. The business income goes into that account. If you're investing some money up front, put your investment money into that business bank account and then only use that account for business expenses, not personal expenses, unless there's certain things that your accountant has already said can be written off like your cell phone or something like that. Again, I'm not an accountant. Talk to your accountant about those things. Now, along with this step of opening business accounts, you can go right ahead and open your Profit First business accounts. We have a whole playlist on Profit First. I am a certified Profit First professional. If you don't know what that is, basically I help people implement this cash flow management method in their business. It's a way of managing the money to be more more profitable, make sure you're paying yourself, make sure you're paying your taxes and staying within your budget. So you can go ahead and just start right off with your profit first accounts. I've had some people say like, oh, I'm gonna wait a little bit, but there's really no reason to not get started off right now. And the last thing is you need to actually have a plan. Now I know that sounds super simple and I'm not necessarily even talking about a business plan here. I think honestly, business plans are kind of silly unless you specifically need a business plan to present to investors or a bank. Most times the projections are not realistic in those things. People spend all this time building a business plan and then it just goes and sits in a drawer and nothing happens. So what I want you to do is actually make an actionable plan, a step-by-step -step plan of how you're actually going to achieve this vision that you have for this new business. A great way to get started with this is the book Fun at Work by our founder, Dr. Greg Winteregg. I highly suggest you pick it up. There's a free downloadable workbook that goes along with the book where you can be taking action 
making plans while you're reading or listening to the book. So that's a great place to start without needing to know how to write a fancy business plan, but to actually create some actionable steps for yourself to move this new business venture forward. It can be really easy when you're starting a business, even when you're running an established business, to kind of feel like you're being pulled in all directions. There's so many things to think about, so many logistics, so many things to do, and the principles in that book really help you get a little bit organized, get focused on where you need to be putting your attention. We also have a whole playlist about the book that we will link down below for you if you wanna just run through the playlist, but I suggest you actually actually getting the book because it has the workbook that goes along with it. So there are many more things that go into building a business from scratch, but those are the four first things, first key things that you need to do to make sure you're legally established and can actually start accepting money and moving the business forward. Now, if you need help kind of setting the vision, making some plans, figuring out how you're going to actually achieve the vision that you have now created, I highly suggest you check out our program, Adventure to Profit. This is a program that's great for established businesses and startups. So head to adventuretoprofit.com if you feel like you need some help achieving your vision. And then lastly, make sure you check out our channel sponsors, metapulse.com, another great tool for any business, no matter how big or small, you can keep track of your progress, you can keep track of your team's progress and so much more with this platform. So I definitely recommend you go and check that out as well. I'll see you next time.